Morning, church. We're about to share in the Lord's Supper, something we do regularly each um, each uh, first day of the week. Uh, we break bread and we share um, wine. Um, they represent the body and the blood of Christ. But um, I still want to think about why we do this. You know, what's the whole purpose behind the Lord's Supper? What's the story behind the Lord's Supper? Um, the problem is that man sinned and fell from God's grace. Um, and every man across the whole world um, fell short and um, faced a terrible outcome. You know, we think about, go back to the beginning of the story in, um, in Genesis, um, in the garden. This is a true story. This actually took place. In the garden, um, Adam and Eve um, were told by God not to eat from the tree in the center of the garden. Um, but the devil deceived them, deceived Eve. You know, he said, did God really say that? Did God really say he shouldn't eat from the um, tree for fruit from the tree of the garden? Um, and he um, said, look, we can eat from any tree, but not the tree in the middle. Even if we touch it, we'll die. The devil said, oh, that's not true. God's lying to you, basically. You know, he just wants to keep all the good things for himself. Um, once you taste from that fruit, you'll know good and evil just like God. You'll be like God, as good as God. Um, it sounded like a great idea, but we know the outcome was death. Um, mankind died. They were driven from the garden. They were driven from um, paradise. Um, and from that one sin, all men um, learned about good and evil. We all chose evil and we basically fell from God's grace and we were left hopeless. We had no hope at all. Um, this um, cup we're about to share and this bread we're about to share reminds us that God truly loves us. God sent his only son into the world to save us from certain death. Um, I just want to read from Revelation about that final day. There will be a judgment when we will all, we, every one of us will face that judgment day. We will all be there. We'll all see it take place. In Revelation 20, it says, Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. The earth and the heaven fled from his presence and there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne and books were opened. Another book was opened, which is a book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in, the, in it, and, the, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them. And each person was judged according to what he had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Anyone's name who was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. This will take place for every one of us. We will all stand before the judgment seat of God. And our names, we who have put our faith in Christ, have our names written in the book of life, and we will not face that second death. The body of Christ, God became flesh and um, dwelt among, amongst us. The bread represents that body that was um, shed. The blood and the wine is God's sacrifice, dying to give us a way back to him. Um, when we share these two elements, let's remember how great a gift God has given us. He's given us life when we were without hope. Let's just pray for the bread now as we share that. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for your love for us. We thank you for coming into this world and giving us hope because we were without hope. Thank you for sending your son to this world, your only son, for giving such a great gift that we can live. We thank you now for this bread we're about to share. We thank you for your love for us through Jesus. Amen. The wine represents the blood of Christ. Christ died, became flesh and died for us. God gave a great gift to us in being willing to die for us. Let's just give thanks for that cup. Lord, we thank you for this cup we're about to share. It reminds us that, you know, Jesus had to die, pay the price. He paid the guilt um, price that we might live. He paid the full price, left you and suffered deeply. Um, but was willing to do so because of his love for us. We thank you for this one we now share. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.
Thanks, everybody.